In this video, I will be sharing the process of this painting I did of a Stellar's J. It is a member of the family Corvidae and is native to Western North America and is really closely related to the Blue Jay. And what you can see is I'm blocking in the colors for the Blue Jay with a Niji water brush and I'm doing this because I want to block in the colors and make sure that that I know exactly where the colors are going before I get too far into the painting. Um, I actually grew up with Stellar's Jays. Um, I lived out in the countryside and I used to wake up to them almost every morning uh, with their charismatic screaming calls. And they're actually known for uh, doing a lot of mimicking as well of different predatory species and other passerines. So after blocking in the watercolor, I started going in with gouache. I decided to start out with the, um, the head of the bird because I thought that would be the easiest place to start out. I'm using Payne's Gray to block in the shadows of the Stellar's J. And I'm also going around to the darkest parts of the bird. Then I started putting in some of the mid-tones, so I mixed in some Windsor Violet and some Burnt Sienna, along with some Titanium White. Gradually adding more and more white as I go uh, to add more depth to the bird. While I'm doing this, I'm also keeping in mind the direction of the light. Uh, this picture is actually a composite of three different photographs that I used, and uh, two of those photographs were my own, and then the others for the feet were just referenced from other pictures I found online. The light in the pictures that I took was coming in through the top right hand corner and then beaming down onto his back. So I want to make sure that the brightest highlights are on his back. I also added some really bright highlights to uh, his, what they call a, a bib in birds. So now I'm moving on to the body and I started out with some cerulean blue, uh, which is a mid cool blue. And that'll be the basis for the layers of the Stellar's J. Next, I'm going to add some darker uh, cobalt blue, uh, which is actually a more neutral blue. It's slightly warmer than the cerulean, but it's really good for the shadows. I'm also adding some purple highlights where the light is hitting the bird. One really cool thing about Stellar's Jays and birds that are blue in general is that they aren't actually blue. They have these structural colors that are made by microstructures in the feather and the light that hits them is refracted. With the bluebirds in general, if the uh, feathers have irregularities like air pockets, the light itself can scatter and so if you find a blue jay feather and you pick it up and shine a backlight on it, it will actually be brown because the light is hitting the feather in a specific direction that's causing it to be that blue color. And speaking of blue, um, I'm adding a Mayan blue genuine color from Daniel Smith onto the breast of the bird because I realized that that part did not actually look quite right. I'm continuing to add some highlights to the feathers to give them more structure. 
I'm using a cobalt teal blue for most of the highlights in this mixed with some of the titanium white gouache. I start adding that to the um, small feathers that are on the breast of the bird and around the edges of the wing tips and the wing feathers. This gives the illusion of depth in the painting because the cobalt teal blue is a little bit warmer than both the Mayan blue genuine and the cerulean blue that I had added earlier. This is because warm colors tend to come forward in a painting and cool colors tend to recede so if you continually layer up warmer colors then those parts are going to come forward and the parts that you layered on earlier are going to be pushed back into the painting. So at this point most of the body has been blocked in with gouache. I start to add some more highlights, uh, this time with the flat brush and I'm using that mixture of cobalt teal with the titanium white. Just blocking in more highlights. And then I switch to my double up brush for some finer details. I'm really trying to blend the darker blue in with the lighter blue so there's a really nice transition between those points. And then I also start adding a lot more highlights to the head and the nape of the bird. Um, I add a lot of highlights and continually add more highlights as those parts are going to always dry a little bit darker and I want to make sure that I'm getting the right values. Now I'm adding a little bit more definition to the wing by um, taking some ultramarine and using my trusty flat brush again. Just putting in some of those really deep dark shadows. I'm working my way all around the bird and just adding all the shadows and more definition. Now I'm starting to work on the feet. The feet are about the same kind of color as the head, so again I'm using uh, Payne's Gray with some of the Windsor Violet and with some Burnt Sienna. I'm also adding some little details to the eyes and the face and the beak. Sometimes I mix up too much of one color and I find other places that that color could be applied to. So you'll see if I'm working on the feet I might go back to the head and work on the head for a little bit. And then go transition back into working on the feet and then mix up a new color and then just go back and forth between them. Once I'm satisfied with the structure of the feather and the colors, I start adding the banding to the, the bird, those iconic Stellar's Day stripes. I'm using a little bit of the purple with some cerulean blue. That gives the appearance of those bands. They look black, but they're actually not black. Um, and then I start adding more highlights to the feet, little small details. I tried to add some banding to the tail and that didn't really turn out very well the first time because I realized that the tail was the wrong shape. The feathers are supposed to be very convex, just like all of the feathers on the bird to provide lift. And I want to make sure that I get that curvature onto the tail feathers before I start adding the banding. Uh, 
Um, I'm also adding a lot more details to the underside and trying to reinforce the shadows underneath the wings to give that a little bit more dimension. And again, I'm going in and adding more highlights as needed to adjust the values. So at this point I'm removing the masking that I'm using, um, the painter's tape and the contact paper because it wasn't going to get me any farther in the painting. I replaced that with a new masking made out of vellum that has the Stellar's J cut out of it. And I'm using another sheet of vellum to rest my palm on while I'm painting the J. And that's there just to prevent me from transferring oils to the, um, the painting or to the mask underneath because it tends to warp really badly with oils or with any kind of liquid whatsoever. And I have very oily hands. You can see that I added some of the highlights to the top part of the wing and I finally got the colors figured out for that. Now I'm trying to figure out the light on the tail. And I ended up using a lot of phthalo blue for the tail. Right now I'm reinforcing some of the highlights on the top part of the tail feathers. Also some of the darker parts with the uh, cobalt. I'm trying to blend all of those colors together. And so at some point I actually start using my thumb to kind of blend them. And I'm also, right now I'm adding a few last details to the feet. These are really small details with my double lot brush. You can also see a um, piece of scrap illustration board that I'm using to match the colors with. I've actually been using this throughout the whole video, but it makes it really easy to match the colors that I want and not put them directly onto the painting. And the last part of this painting is doing the banding on the finished tail. So there you have it. Uh, this is the finished painting. It took me a total of eight hours to do. Um, I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you do, please uh, send us a like or a comment or maybe even subscribe. And uh, if you want to know more about the contact paper, please watch the Eagle tutorial video. And I hope to see you next time.